Welcome all. So we are starting with AppLab series, wherein we would be learning how to create very very complex applications. But don't worry, I would be starting from the basics, and then we would be reaching at an end where we would be publishing our application, which is made up of code.org published. So that would be a great learning journey. And first, let's start with the basics. So this is the website which you all can see. This is the website that is called Dattawachi. So you need to go to the website. So this is the interface of the website when you look at it. We need to first click on sign in. Then either you can continue with Google or you can continue with uh, typing your emails manually. Or one way you can do is we can save your password. So that anytime you have to log in. You just simply click sign in and you don't have to do all the time pass. And one more method is sign in with Google. So we are creating our first application with Atlas. So this is the toolbox. What is toolbox? This is where we put the blocks or text codes and it makes us easier. So I would be writing codes. I would prefer writing codes because that will make us a good habit when we are writing our own program. Suppose in Python or JavaScript. Suppose you are writing your coding or own which is not. I am not talking of this website, but if you are typing from any suppose VS Code, Sublime Text, or any code editor, then that would be a good practice for you all because block programming kids do. But we are going to do textual coding, and we will be also trying to do Python programming also in another software like VS Code. I mean, I was talking of editors. So we would be doing everything. Just I'm starting everything in the basics. This is block programming, but I would prefer to do textual coding as I have said you earlier. So this is the toolbox. So this toolbox con contains eight. It contains these are the eight tabs. Can you see UI controls, data control, variable, canvas, turtle, math, and functions? So this UI controls contains all the blocks which are necessary, and these are the basics items for building our app. These are the basic things, and every app has these items. And in the data, this is where we store the data of our app, and it is stored here in data. Then we have the control. So here in control, we write the all the if else statements and in the variable. If you are uh, already aware with Python or JavaScript programming, then you may have heard also of variables. And then it comes the canvas. It is where we would be drawing the all the tools. Suppose if you want to draw a circle, rectangle, like or anything. If you want to make a GIF, then this is applicable. Then it comes the turtle. It is very interesting. We would be learning about this in our upcoming videos. Then it comes the maths, all the operations which you have to perform, and then the functions. We will also create some of our own functions. Plus, we would be using these some functions which already coded to our own. Now, this language, if you see, it is similar to one that JavaScript. It is similar to JavaScript. But if you don't know JavaScript, that's totally fine because here it's just a part of JavaScript. We are not using entirely JavaScript, and here the design this is actually HTML and CSS. But because Code.org has provided us the platform where they have converted all these HTML CSS codes to a program, that is why it is very easy to us, and that is why beginners are preferred to use Code.org before. Making there any application. So let's start. So let's not waste our time more on understanding it because we would be understanding it practically much better. So this is the design tab. So today let's explore the design tab. As I have just introduced you to the toolbox, tomorrow we will be writing the code. Today we will explore the design tab. So this is the button. What is the button? Here, whenever someone suppose I'm gonna run it. They will click. As soon now you can see when I am just hovering over this screen, then nothing happens. The mouse is in. But as soon as I go to the button, it changes to 
a clicking hand, isn't it? Because that's a button. Now, if I put a label and if I run, nothing will happen because that's just a simple or normal text. So here in the canvas, I will explain you what we can do. Then here we can insert images, text areas, then slider. Now what is slider? When we run our program, this is slider. See. And photo select this way. Suppose if you have to upload in your site and then need some thing related to it in your application, then that's why it's used. Then drop down. Drop down you must have heard when you are filling any form, then Drop down is a must. I mean, in a form, we use drop down. If I see, if I run, you can see this is the drop down. And there are much more. We would be talking about them in the upcoming videos. So, till then, thank you, everyone.